Hello and welcome back to the next episode of the Aurora 4X tutorial series. In this episode, I'm going to be going over ground-based uh, geological survey as well as ground-based xenoarchaeology um, and how to use it effectively, how to look for it, and step-by-step -step on what you need to do for it. So the first thing is going to be ground geological surveying. So in Aurora uh, C Sharp, um, in the Aurora C Sharp, there is a chance for ground geological survey potential to be found on any body that is above 4,000 uh, in diameter. So that means above, that means the moon's not eligible. Um, many bodies are eligible though, such as Mars, Ganymede, all those kind of planets. They have to be obviously surveyed first, and then the potential will be found based on percentages. I will put on screen those exact percentages here, and they will show you uh, what you're going to mean to look for. Only certain bodies can have potential. Um, then, once they have potential, you're going to send a ground-based geological uh, unit or formation to that body, and they will generate a certain amount of points, and then they will finish. Um, ground uh, survey and they will either give you more minerals or access or they will say they didn't find anything in the ground uh, survey that is how ground survey works i'm now going to move on to um how to easily find things uh, for ground survey so you can have over here you can look for the survey sites and it will show you all in the galaxy low minimal it goes from low uh, it goes from minimal low average good and excellent you can go into system survey view and you can see this, which means minerals. And then if it's got a one, so if I go over here, that means uh, minimal. And then it goes minimal, uh, minimal, low, average, uh, good, and then excellent, uh, one to five. Now for xenoarchaeology, uh, it works like in terms of ground based ge uh, geological survey and then you need to send a team there. But the difference is um, every time you obviously survey based on certain parameters um, around uh, the temperature, the deviation between gravity and all that stuff, it would it, there's a chance for it to generate a for it to generate a ruin. The ruin can be of different levels. I will need to obviously survey to find that out. Once you have found a ruin, you can you can find ruins through here very easily. And once you've found one, you can then send a xenoarchaeology team who will generate a certain amount of points, and every year there'll be an annual chance for them to decipher the uh, technology level, the what the alien race was, and say how many installations are there that you can excavate and use for yourself. And the way you do that, um, I will be showing in just a few minutes. So now that we've gone over the mechanics behind them, and I'll be putting on screen uh, the I will put on screen earlier the ground-based uh, geological survey rules and then also xenoarchaeology rules. And then I'm also going to put on the chance for finding them in Sol. Sol has a predetermined percentage, so Mercury 3%, Mars 5%, uh, like Titan 1%, and then others fractions of those percent that I'll be putting up. And now we're going to move on to ground units and then eventually troop transports and how that works. So you want to come over here. You want to make sure you have construction component equipment, geosurvey equipment, or, and xenoarchaeology equipment to do everything here. If you're only doing geological survey, you don't need geosurvey equipment, um, and for the other stuff, you're going to need construction and xenoarchaeology. It needs to be a medium vehicle or above, and you can create geosurvey equipment, and you can add geosurvey equipment to your vehicle, and you can also add additional, and this will generate 0 0.2 points together uh, every hour. So that means for every five, that'll generate one point per hour. Um, and so that, so you can then stack that accordingly. Now you may ask yourself, how do I know how many points I need to survey a particular body? Well, Mercury, 244 points, if you have, uh, the geosurvey points on, uh, that's for orbital and ground. So it'll take 244 ground and 244 orbital to do the survey. Okay, that is uh, ground-based uh, uh, geo-server equipment. And then if you want to do xenoarchaeology, it's the same thing with the points. Uh, and it's based on annual chance, not on any uh, particular amount of points you need the maximum of. And then once you have deciphered the aliens, you can do construction equipment. 
um, and you can stack those like Geo Survey, of course, and you want to put a Void Combat on these as well. And they will uh, excavate a certain amount of runes every so often. So now you want to make a formation, so formation through here, and then you can add these vehicles here. You want a headquarters because you can assign officers who will have survey and uh, xenoarchaeology bonuses. So if we go over here and we look at ground officer, you can see survey, xenoarchaeology. So it is very uh, important to actually have those HQs, even though they may not be fighting. <sighs> okay, next. Um, so now that's new archaeology, as you can see, and then uh, combat engineer with uh, construction vehicles, and then we also have geology with geological vehicles. Now, how do you get them to another planet? Well, you need a troop transport. A troop transport is basically a uh, vessel that uses troop transport base. I've gone over them in the previous video, but I'll go over them quickly now. You need to research them in logistics. They are commercial for the standard ones, the troop transport base. And then uh, you need them to be uh, equal at or above the uh, size of the ground formation you're trying to move. You don't need cargo shuttle bays, but cargo shuttle bays do help a lot. Um, and overall, uh, this is how you move them. And there you go. And then you move them to the body, they'll automatically do their work and they'll get everything that is needed to be done. Um, and that is it. That is ground based xeno archaeology and ground based geological survey. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I hope you do enjoy. Um, I haven't talked too much about it. I, I did not talk too much about xeno archaeology, what you'll find in those ruins, just because I want to leave that up to a bit of surprise. But I hope you did enjoy. I'll see you next time. Remember, please subscribe. So, much 20% of people who watch these videos are subscribed. Leave a like, leave a comment, it really helps the algorithm out. And uh, we just hit 200 subscribers, so I'm really, really happy with the amount of support. I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe. Bye-bye.